2015 chaos uh, has gone through some small refinements from last season. Um, not not nearly the big jump in, in changes that we took from 2013 to 2014, which when we introduced this newer, higher aspect ratio uh, plan form, which is actually kind of a, uh, it is very much like a sea kite uh, in the way that it was designed as far as the profiles. Um, aspect ratio is a little bit lower. Um, the, the kite's not quite as upright and aggressive as a, as a full-on sea kite. We still maintain a small bridle on there, but the kite is still balanced very, very light and neutral. Profiles are very fast and fly forward really well, so uh, with a focus, as always, on slack line um, when you boost to do your tricks. Um, the freestyle guys are always pushing me harder and harder to get more and more line slack so they can do more and more aggressive tricks without without the kite being in the way. Um, kites that are too powerful that can't fly forward uh, have too large of a change in attack angle when you unhook, tend to drift back as soon as you unhook and then they're powered up the whole time. It makes it really difficult to do anything other than wake style. Um, freestyle, these guys need it need slack line. So the objective with the chaos was to be as close as possible to a sea kite but without uh, sacrificing D power and, and wind range. Since the kite is very upright in design, uh, meaning that there's very little sweep in the wing tips in relation to the root of the kite, uh, the center of the kite, basically when you steer this kite it twists very uh, linear through the entire kite body. Okay, this is one of the things that a sea kite or a hybrid sea kite such as this um, have that differentiates uh, them from kites with more sweep, which let's say uh, such as a bow kite. So when you steer the kite, let's let's say that the entire maybe for better, lack of better words, if you can picture the the, the twist in a propeller. Okay, when you steer a, an upright kite. The, the, the twist from the wingtip goes very far to the center of the kite, so it gives it a different kind of circle that it draws through the sky, okay? And it goes, and it flies through the turn, rather than pivoting off of the wingtip. So a kite with more sweep, um, the, the steering, the twist is much more focused to the wingtip. So as you lay into a turn, they're, they're pivoty and responsive, but it's a very pivoty turn, and it doesn't physically fly itself through the turn nearly as much as a, as a kite that's more upright in design. So as far as kite loops are concerned, you need for the kite to be producing lift and, and energy through the kite loop to maintain speed so that it'll climb up hill in time to catch you before you, you're going to land on your butt. Um, where it was a pivoty turn, like on a more swept kite, you got to picture yourself sticking your hand out the window of a car and, and rotating it up and you feel the drag. And on a pivoty kind of turn, it's not super efficient. It's fast, and the kite turns really quickly, but it doesn't maintain the, the aerodynamic energy through the turn like, a, like an upright kite or a, a hybrid sea kite does. The feedback I get from the pros all the time is that they want the bar pressure line but they want the steering input to be very high so that they have a very good feeling of where the kite is at all times. Another reason that they're indirectly asking me for the bar pressure to be light is so that you have less change in the kite attack angle when you go from riding hooked in to unhooked. Okay, so basically the balance of the bridle is much lighter and much more neutral so you have less change. So when you unhook, the kite still has the ability to fly forward. That's only that's in conjunction with the type of profiles that we choose on this kite which fly much faster and further forward.